An important contribution to the international reputation of the University of Vienna, of which you can find plenty of evidence on your stroll around the arcaded courtyard, was made by its medical school in the 19th century. Josef von Skoda, who was born in Pilsen in Bohemia as the son of a poor locksmith, became one of the leading lights of the Vienna School of Medicine, together with Karl Rokitansky, bust 54. He was one of a pioneering group of Viennese physicians who turned away from the prevailing natural philosophical orientation of medicine and founded a modern, scientifically oriented field, characterized by specialization and the development of new disciplines. Skoda worked in the capital of the Habsburg monarchy for more than two decades, first as a practicing physician. In 1839, he published his treatise on percussion and auscultation, which first described a precise medical diagnostic technique involving tapping the body and listening to its sounds with a stethoscope, particularly the sounds of the circulatory and respiratory systems. Today, most doctors still begin an examination by listening to their patient's heart and lungs. As a professor, Skoda taught in German instead of Latin and educated generations of students from around the world in the precise diagnosis of disease. He was one of the few professors at the University of Vienna who championed the hygienic procedures proposed by gynaecologist Ignaz Semmelweis, relief number 147. His nephew, the engineer Emil Skoda, turned the Pilsen machine factory into the huge industrial concern Skoda Works, whose name is best known today as a make of car. Die medizinischen Geräte durften wir im Josephinum der Med Uni aufnehmen und dafür möchten wir uns recht herzlich bedanken. Das Josephinum wurde 1785 vom Kaiser Josef II. gegründet, um Ärzte und Hebammen für den zivilen und militärischen Bereich auszubilden. Ein Jahr später erhielt die Akademie den Namen Medizinisch-Chirurgische Josefsakademie. Neben der Nationalbibliothek am Josefsplatz ist das Josephinum das einzige Repräsentativgebäude, das auf Josef II. zurückgeht. Heute sind neben anderem eine Sammlung von Wachsmodellen und historische medizinische Instrumente in einem kleinen Museum an Freitagen und an Samstagen zu besichtigen.